Hello, boys and girls. Today we are going to listen to the story, Animal Babies A B C, an alphabet book of animal offspring. Offspring is another word for baby. So I can tell by looking at this picture that this story is nonfiction. Can you say nonfiction? That's right. That means it is not fake. So it is a real story. It is true and there are real pictures and it is about real animals. It's not make believe. All right, our author of the story is Barbara Knox. Remember our author writes the story. Here we go. Here is our title page. A is for a, a, alligator. Alligator babies hatch from eggs. The babies croak like a frog to let the mother know that they hatched. That is very cool. B is for bear. Bear cubs, b, b, bear. Bear cubs do not have teeth when they are born. Cubs drink milk from their mothers. C is for c cat. Cats have litters of kittens. Some kittens run and play outside. D is for d dog. Dogs and puppies cannot sweat. They pant to keep cool. E is for elephant. A female elephant has one calf at a time. She teaches her calf how to use its trunk to drink and find food. Calf is the name of an elephant baby. F is for f frog. Female frogs lay many eggs. The eggs hatch into tadpoles. Tadpoles look like small fish. G is for g, g. That's what G says, but giraffe starts with the j sound. It's kind of silly. G is for giraffe. Giraffe cows give birth standing up. Baby giraffes tumble down to the ground, but the fall does not hurt them. H is for horse. A newborn foal, that's what a baby horse is called, stands up soon after it's born. It can run after a few hours. Wow. People take sometimes over a year to be able to walk, and horses can run in a few hours. That is very cool. I is for Ibex, so it's our long sound. Ibex babies are called kids. Kids follow their mothers up steep hills. J is for J jaguar. Jaguar cubs are good climbers and swimmers. They have sharp claws. K is for k koala. A koala lives in its mother's pouch for the first part of its life. It climbs out when it grows too big for the pouch. Cute. L is for llama. Female llamas give birth to one baby at a time. The baby is called a cria. M is for moose. Moose calves hear well. Their large ears move to hear different sounds. So their ears move. N is for nightingale. 
Nightingale chicks stay safe in a nest. They wait for their mother to bring bugs for them to eat. O is for a uh, otter. At first, otter pups are small and helpless. They stay with their mother for about one year. P is for penguin. Penguin chicks rest atop, that means on top, of their parents' claws. So you can see this is dad's feet. From there, the chicks stay safe and snug. Q is for qu quail. Quail chicks take about 18 days to hatch. A few hours after they hatch, quail chicks can walk, eat, and drink. R is for raccoon. Raccoon kits spend most of their time climbing trees. They eat animals and plants. S is for sheep. So this one is tricky because when S and H are put together, it makes the sh sound. Baby sheep are called lambs. Lambs and sheep are very good jumpers. T is for t tiger. Tiger cubs drink milk from their mother. They stay with their mother for about two years. This one is tricky too. U is for porcupine. Porcupine. The U is in the middle of the word. Porcupines have many soft quills when they are born. The quills harden and become sharp after a few hours. So you wouldn't want to run into a porcupine. V is for viper. Eyelash viper snakes give birth to live young. The snakes eat lizards, frogs, and birds. Oh my goodness, look how big his head is. Wow. W is for wa walrus. Walrus calves have whiskers. The whiskers help them find food. X is for fox. So the X is at the end. X is for fox. Foxes look like small dogs. For kits leave their parents after a few months. So cute. Y is for y yak. Yak calves live with their mothers in a herd. They run, leap, and climb. Z is for zebra. Zebra foals run soon after they are born. Their mothers stay close by and watch over them. Awesome. What is the last letter in our alphabet? Here is a list of all the animals that we learned about, which is pretty cool, friends. And on our last page, we have a picture of a cute mama, dog, and her babies. Very nice. This is a big book, friends. Look how big it is. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for listening today. I hope you learned something new. This story is called Animal Babies ABC. When you are finished listening, I want you to tap the microphone button and tell me one thing you learned from our story today. I can't wait to hear about it.